Hi guys, welcome back to another What I Eat In A Day video. Thank you so much for logging on and joining me today for another day of food. Um, thank you guys for your comments on my last video. Again, they really motivate me. I know I always say this, but the comments and the likes and the everything like that just really motivates me to create and find recipes to share with you guys. So thank you so much for loving them so much. Thank you for being so supportive. You guys are the best. Like, honestly, I love you all so much. So, yeah. But today, about food. I love food as well, so let's talk about that. Um, I've already had my breakfast, it's standard. It was nothing exciting today, I didn't feel the need to film it. Basically, I had coffee and a banana. Um, yeah, <laughs> you know you know what a coffee and a banana looks like. Um, but I am hungry now. I've actually been working a lot this morning, filming a lot of content for you guys, so I've definitely worked up an appetite. And I fancy salmon. I was at Sainsbury's last night, and I saw the smoked salmon and cream cheese, and I was like, <sighs> I want that. So I picked some up and I'm very, very excited because it's not something I have often. Um, and I'm really looking forward to trying the lighter than light Philly that I've never tried before. So we'll see what that equates to a point value. And tonight we're having a fake away, which I'm excited about. It's basically a takeaway, but fake because I'm making it from scratch. And it's actually gonna be really lovely because I'm making some like Kobe Day kofta kebabs, which is basically like a minced meat kebab, kind of like a chic kebab that you would get in a restaurant, um, which is kind of like sausage shaped and is made up of minced meat, onion, herbs and spices, all that jazz. And oh my God, I'm so excited. I've got some pizza bread, some salad, I might have it with chips, I may go all out, I don't know. Let's see what the day brings, but yeah. Tonight we're having a midweek fake away, which I'm very, very excited to share with you guys. Um, very, very easy to make, and it is a Weight Watchers Wellness That Works recipe as well. So, yeah, let's go and have lunch. Comment, like, subscribe if you're new, and yeah, let's go. Also, I will link everything that I'm wearing down below. This top I got very recently um, from Topshop. I love it. I love the orange shade, and these are my trusty jeans and my Ugg slippers. Very, very comfy day today for me. Um, yeah, and I'll link any makeup I'm wearing should it interest you guys. Um, but yeah, let's go and eat. Right, so it's time for lunch. And as I mentioned, I'm going to be having smoked salmon, which I picked up from a Sainsbury's last night when I went shopping. I saw it, I had a real craving for it, so I thought I would have it. I also got this Philadelphia, which is the lightest one. I've never tried this before. I've tried the regular light, but I've not tried the lighter. So it'd be interesting to see what that works out. Point value and everything like that. And I also have the butter that we use, which is the lactose free. Sometimes I use regular, sometimes I use lactose free. And that's just because Andy is lactose intolerant. So, and I buy full fat butter for the kids. So I tend to use this with him because I honestly can't taste the difference. Instead of having it on a bagel, which would normally be my preference, but I was an idiot and completely forgot to put bagels up. I have these sandwich thins that are just like little toasts that I get from Aldi. And um, these have been sat in the freezer. So I definitely do need to get a move on eating some of them. So I'm going to have one of those toasted. So I'm going to pop that in the toaster now. Now we're going to have a look at things on the app and see what we're dealing with. So I'm going to start off with the cream cheese. Now, again, this is the lightest version, so it'll be interesting to see what this equates to. I'm just going to use my barcode scanner, and this is one point per serving, which is pretty incredible to be honest. I account a serving as one slice of bread, so I'm going to change that to two servings because, in fact, actually, let's be accurate about it. Let's get my trusty weighing scales and see what we're dealing with. And we can go from there. So, I'm just going to grab one of these little dishes. And I'm basically just going to spoon into it what I would have. It can be totally accurate. I mean, we have that luxury, don't we? Still lovely consistency as the original one has. And I would say, maybe a little bit more than that. Let's go all out. I would say probably about 30 five grams so let's see what that equates to and 35 grams is one point let's push the bowl let's see where it gets to so you can have up to 45 grams before you take a point an extra point so I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna have 45 grams there you go 43 that'll do and I have tasted it, I've licked it off my fingers. Mmm, and it tastes great. So yeah, really excited about that. So that is my cream cheese. And now I'm going to see what point value comes with the smoked salmon. Okay, so 
the salmon, and salmon's pretty decent in regards to point value, is two points per 50 grams. Again, very, very reasonable. Oh, my toast has popped up. Let's weigh out 50 grams and see what that looks like. You know, it might turn out that 50 grams is definitely more than enough for me. Yeah, I think 50 grams is definitely gonna be sufficient. I just now need to track my bread. I think this is like three points, but we'll see. Yeah, three points. So, all together, my lunch has cost, let's see, seven. Seven points, more than happy for a cream cheese toast situation with salmon. It's been a couple of hours since lunch. I've just basically been editing all day. Um, that cream cheese was great. Tastes no different to the full fat in my opinion. I've just changed my jumper actually because it's just gone really, really cold all of a sudden. Um, and I'm, I've got about an hour left before I have to go and do the school run. And that's when I tend to have my afternoon snack. And I'm thinking I might have some berries. I have some raspberries and blueberries and blackberries and all that jazz that need eating. So, in fact, I don't think I have blackberries. I think it's just blueberries and raspberries, but yeah. That's what I'm gonna have for my snack and then we'll get on with making the kebabs, which I'm already really excited for. This is the recipe that we're planning on making today. It's the lamb kofters with Turkish salad. The only difference is I am not putting the pitters broken up inside the salad like they have done. I'm just gonna make traditional kebabs where you will put the meat inside the bread. I'm also not going to be using the feta cheese that they've used. I'm just gonna use regular cheese because I don't like feta. Okay, so you're going to need some minced meat. I've got the So Organic 5% fat mince. Um, you can get the 10%, this is what the recipe calls for, but I couldn't find the 10%, so I went for the five. We also have two cloves of garlic that I have grated, three small onions, which probably equates to one large onion, if I'm honest. So yeah, I'm gonna chop those. We also have some sumac, which is a, I think it's a Middle Eastern spice, and um, we used it a lot when I lived in the Middle East, so um, I do remember having this, but I've not really used it frequently, so I had to go on the hunt for that. And I have an assortment of herbs and spices. I have some dry coriander, some cumin, salt and pepper, some cinnamon, and some all-purpose seasoning as well. And here I have a bunch of chopped parsley and chopped coriander fresh from the garden. So all I'm going to do now is combine all of this stuff into a bowl. This is my large mason bowl, ideal for mixing. And then I'm just gonna make it into um, kebab shaped pieces. And apparently this should make about 12 oval sized patties. So we'll see. And this is apparently seven smart points per person. So I'm going to start off by prepping my onion. I always like to chop my onions first. I find that they're the base for most dishes and I just like to chop them as finely as I can. I'm not very good at chopping. You guys probably have noticed that from my way eating days. So I just get them as fine as I can. Um, and I find that the finer they are, the better they will incorporate into the meat and you won't get chunky bits of onion in your kebab, which isn't great and has happened to me before when I've made burgers and things like that. So I really do need to nail chopping techniques. If you guys have any chopping techniques, um, let me know. Going in with the garlic, the samak, and the herbs and spices. So I think the easiest thing to do now is to use my hands to mix this all together and to create the shapes of kebabs that I want. So all of the ingredients are now in the bowl and I'm gonna start mixing it. I'm just gonna wet my hands because I find that the mixture doesn't stick to you quite as badly if you wet your hands first.
brown the kebabs, let them take on some really nice flavour and mix in with all of the herbs and spices and just create a really nice kind of caramelised um, brownie kind of exterior. So now I'm going to finish them off in the oven um, just so they're not sat frying in the oil for too long. I'm going to put them on for about 20, 15 to 20 minutes, keep my eye on them and then they'll be ready but they already smell incredible like honestly they just smell like a takeaway so I'm mega excited and then once out of the oven I'm going to pop them onto some um, tin foil to rest for a couple of minutes. had dinner it was absolutely delicious so enjoyable such a treat again it really did taste like a takeaway i really really enjoyed it um it would be a great one for entertaining a great one for batch cooking there's about four or five of those little kebabs left so i'm just going to pop them in the freezer or in the fridge for lunches because i think they'll be ideal just to have on their own or with salad or with chips or whatever they were really lovely really flavorful and really easy to make as well i mean if you don't mind getting your hands in it's really really easy i had most of the ingredients in the cupboard already apart from some mark which i got really easily from sainsbury's and i have now for next time so yeah really impressed with that recipe would we'll definitely have it again really flavorful and surprisingly i actually have 13 points left which is pretty incredible um, I'm going to let some of those roll over because I don't feel the need to consume another 13 points worth of food to be honest and I don't want to eat for eating sake but what I am going to do is I'm going to go and weigh out some Milky Bar buttons and have those as a treat. I'm very excited about that. You guys will know if you've been around here a while that white chocolate buttons are my guilty pleasure. I absolutely love them but I just wanted to sign off this video. I'm just going to go and weigh out about 5 points worth and let the rest roll over slash disappear um, but you guys feel free to keep eating your points. It's perfectly fine. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it and you do want to see more What I Eat Days from me. Comment down below as well because that lets me know that you do want to see them and subscribe if you're new and I will see you in my next video. Bye.